Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Open Transport Tycoon. Um, in the last episode we had to explain what happened because we were derby and failed in our recording. So this time I'm going to make sure that we haven't. So yeah we're in a bit of a tight situation so ooh, oil, oil now, oil is expensive. It's a good commodity to export. So what I'm going to do, because I know ships are pretty expensive, I'm going to max out the rest of that loan. And I'm going to build a dock. Right there. And, ha ha ha. And a ship depot. So there. And then build a tanker, which is 54,000. I should have enough. Yes. Right. Go. Go. Full load. Unload. Don't take any cargo, because there's nothing for you to take. Go. Right, um, that makes goods, but there is no, um, no village or town nearby to transport the goods to. So, uh, goods aren't really that good of a commodity because um, they've got a tendency of changing the mind whether they want the goods or not. Uh, councils. I mean, one in one minute they could be saying, "Oh yes, we'll accept goods," and then the next minute they could turn around and say, "No." The reason I'm making that go to uh, the dock when it's only three percent full is so that I lock in that subsidy. <coughs> so, uh, because if I if I was to have that make a full load, it probably wouldn't be able to get there by July, so that would have ran out it's got to be done by July 1967 and it's the 1st of January, 21st of January now. So just to get that um, thing done, I was meant to go, go to the depot, go to the depot. Right, so yeah, that subsidy is now mine. So, and it also means that that gets a chance to uh, load up stuff. Something was negative. That's a lot of oil fields around here. Hmm. Yeah, and also oil refineries. Right. I'm just wondering how much I'm going to earn for this. Hopefully a lot. I'll probably only get like two or three trips out of this subsidy in the first place. Because these are slow to load with them being so... so friggin big. I mean 22,000 litres of oil is quite good. So this will be interesting to see how much this makes. It could pay for itself. I hope it does. It would be nice if it did. And with it being such a short 6,000. Nah, maybe not. I was hoping for a little bit more but yeah, it wasn't to be. So yeah, that's how subsidies work. You basically get them and they pay you double. I mean if that's paying double then I would be getting £3,000 per trip which isn't really that bad for the distance that it does but you do you can get like £30,000-£40,000 per trip if you're going like long distances so yeah. Um, basically I'm just looking to expand Osset and Howarden could be a future example to be honest if I was to stick a train station right there, we'll get passengers from both. So, yeah. And here it comes to make me another £6,000. Sorted. Right. Well, that's doing its thing down there. I'm going to look for further opportunities of profitability. Uh, no. No. Ah, them reds are fucking dicks. They are, I mean, look at them everywhere you turn. There's a red, apart from up here, where it seems to be blue territory. Uh, and then, like, I mean, reds just marched in. I didn't even realise they'd bloody been in until I saw. So, uh, right. Hmm. I know, 
Uh, actually, I've got a fair bit, so I could do a cool run using train. Right, where's my HQ? It is there. Right, uh, cool mine, cool mine, cool mine, cool mine, mines to the power station there. But you get more money if you take it to a further power station. So, uh, open up the map, map of the world, and industries. Right. Industries. I am looking for a blah 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 blah, blah. red. Looking for red. I'm um, where I am where. So by Napton apparently there's a power station. I don't know. There's Napton. That's the mines I'm looking at. Right. So that's the mines I'm looking at at Napton. That's that. So um, power station. Oh, there's one there by sale. So, sale, yeah, that looks alright. So if I get building, ooh, uh, electrified railway. It's a bit more expensive, but it's faster. Right, um, platform length, five. Actually, no, I'm just going to stick with old railway because I don't have enough money for the electrical railway. So if I get a length seven train station, mapped and transfer, and go. It's quite a challenge. I could possibly regret this. But, like I say, like I keep on saying, what's life without risk? Right, that goes up there and back along. Right, oh, I'm going through stones. Out five thousand pounds. Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to actually run out of money before I actually get there. So that was bad decision making on my part. So yeah, that's if I if you ever run a business, don't hire me because I will just run it straight into the ground. And on that note, I think it's a good place to end this session. So see you next time where I try to fucking clear this bit of railway track. I will get you there. Right, see you in the next part.